nothing can take away how empty inside this movie made me feel when I was seven years old, a bright and hopeful young little boy who loved Super Mario more than anything. And here was a film that was supposed to be the answer to my dreams, that was supposed to make my dreams come true, but all it was was a nightmare. Hey guys, it's your buddy Tyler coming at you with a brand new video here on My Retro Life. And Released on May 28th, 1993, I wanna put you in a time and place where us original generation Nintendo kids were chomping at the bit for this movie adaptation of our beloved Super Mario Brothers franchise. In 1991, Nintendo had released Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo, their next generation 16-bit platform. And by 1993, we were in the middle of the console wars, Sega versus Nintendo. But Nintendo were the first ones to hit the silver screen with their flagship franchise, Super Mario Brothers. We could not be more excited. Up until this point, the only adaptation that we had of Mario in any kind of movie or television format was the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, which was both a live action and cartoon adaptation of the Super Mario Brothers franchise. And Lou Albano, Captain Lou Albano was fantastic as Mario. In fact, my kid self would have loved to have just seen that show carried over into a live action movie, feature length movie starring Danny Wells and Captain Lou Albano, the original live action Mario Brothers. That would have been fantastic. But no, we had this new thing coming. And so there was excitement for something new. And with Bob Hoskins, who was so brilliant as Eddie Valiant in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, playing the role of Mario, you could really picture it. You could just see him bringing his Eddie Valiant, New Yorker, rough, tough and gruff Italian plumber. You could really see him bring that sort of character into the Mario world. I could picture it. I was excited to see Bob Hoskins as Mario. I remember as a kid, being seven years old, right before this movie came out, I remember thinking, they're gonna do for Super Mario Brothers what they did for Who Framed Roger Rabbit as far as it's gonna be the Mushroom Kingdom brought to life, just like they brought Toontown to life in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, or just, just the way they brought the cartoon characters that we loved and adored so much to life in that movie. I thought it was going to be a faithful adaptation of the Super Mario Brothers franchise, where Mario and Luigi get sucked down a drain pipe into the Mushroom Kingdom, and it comes to life in this beautiful way, just like they did in Roger Rabbit. I had no idea how crushed I was going to be when I actually sat in the theater with my dad and my mom and watched this movie. I can honestly tell you that we didn't know what we were getting into. Prior to this movie coming out, I believe we first read about it in Nintendo Power. Back then we didn't have the internet to just bombard us with trailer after trailer. All we could go off of was the publicity stills that we maybe saw in magazines, or maybe we caught a movie trailer on TV or by chance in the movie theater. This was Mario on the big screen, my Nintendo game, the game that I loved so much, the game that I had basically lived my entire life with and cherished up until that point. It was finally going to come to life on the big screen, just like my favorite blockbusters like Indiana Jones and Star Wars. Finally, Super Mario was going to join their ranks. I was so wrong. I can remember going into the theater that day and, you know, getting our movie theater popcorn, and just the sights and sounds of a movie theater going experience. No, we're gonna go inside. 
the movie theater experience was still something very special in 1993. You were getting an exclusive look at something that you really couldn't see anywhere else on the big screen with an entire audience of fans other Super Mario fans. I remember the theater being pretty crowded that day. After we got to our seats and settled in for some movie trailers of upcoming films that year in 1993, which no doubt we saw the trailer for Jurassic Park, I sat there in the darkness with hope in my heart that somehow, some way, this was gonna be everything that I hoped and dreamed it would be. When the film started, I actually got really excited because the opening logos of the film production companies, Light Motive and Allied Filmmakers, which looked cool. It had kind of an 8-bit mosaic look to it with that old school Super Mario Brothers theme. I remember kind of turning to dad or dad turning to me and us kind of like, yeah, here we go, it's, it's gonna start, it's gonna begin it. And here, there's the Nintendo music, 8-bit music is playing in our movie theater. And then it was like the rug was pulled right out from underneath us. The film begins with this extended prologue. A long, long time ago, the earth was ruled by dinosaurs. They were big, so not a lot of people went around hassling them. I actually remember my dad audibly kind of just going, what? You know, it just don't get no better than this. Yeah. In the theater sitting next to me, he went, what? Like, what is this? Like, oh no, oh no. He knew, he knew immediately that this was gonna be terrible. What is this? You're wondering, what am I watching? This isn't Super Mario Brothers. Where is this place? I don't know, I ain't been to Manhattan a couple of weeks. Instead of the Mushroom Kingdom, we have this alternate Manhattan, alternate New York City, and it's called Dino Hatton, where dinosaurs evolved to be more like men. It's so bad. I know Super Mario Brothers. I am a huge fan. It has been with me all my life, and you can't convince me that what I'm watching is Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, well, you don't know it could happen. <laughs> Bob Hoskins is giving it his best, and John Leguizamo is kind of the younger brother Luigi, and he's very different. I remember thinking, oh, this isn't really like Luigi. Like, okay, Bob Hoskins is doing an okay job as Mario. Like, it's really not that bad. He feels kind of faithful to the character. But John Leguizamo, this kind of young, cocky, Luigi, good-looking guy, that's not Luigi. None of the characters, aside from possibly Mario, none of the characters were going to be the characters I knew and loved. As the film continued, we stayed with it. We didn't walk out of this movie, but we kept hanging on. We kept waiting for this movie to somewhat feel like the world and the characters that we love so much in the video games. And Every minute that went by in this relatively short film continued to disappoint. Every character from the franchise that got introduced, whether it be Toad or Yoshi, it was one disappointment after another, and not just disappointment. I'm talking soul-crushing defeat. I remember just being so bummed when they introduced Yoshi as this dinosaur, like animatronic, realistic looking dinosaur. It just was so, so off model and so terrible, really. I mean, I just remember sitting in the theater thinking, when can we leave? Nothing can take away how empty inside this movie made me feel when I was seven years old a bright and hopeful young little boy who loved Super Mario more than anything. And here was a film that was supposed to be the answer to my dreams, that was supposed to make my dreams come true, but all it was was a nightmare. It wasn't Mario, and that's just the thing. Everything about this movie, from its characters to its setting to its plot, none of it felt like the games. We stayed to the end, hoping, just hoping, there would be some sort of redemption to come in this film, but it, it, it never came. And we exited the movie theater that day as a family, 
feeling really cheated and really quite crushed. I remember discussing with my dad, you know, him asking me, well, did you like it? And so I answered him. I said, no, I, I really didn't like this. And we both agreed. We both had a moment there where it was like, yep, that was pretty bad. A week later, Jurassic Park comes out and it just totally changes our lives and blows our minds with what was capable in cinema. We, we, it's amazing that just a week before Jurassic Park came out, one of the worst dinosaur movies ever came out. There's a bit of a cult following for the original Super Mario Brothers movie. You won't find me in that cult. I still haven't quite forgiven it for what it did to me all those years ago when I was seven years old, sitting in the movie theater with my dad and my mom and just feeling defeated and destroyed watching them murder my beloved Super Mario Brothers characters. We now find ourselves in a time when a new Super Mario Brothers movie has just released. This time though, the roles have reversed. It's no longer my dad and I. It's me and my daughter. I'm the dad now and I'm gonna take her to see this Super Mario Brothers movie, this brand new one for 2023. And I am so thankful that from what it looks like, from everything we've seen, it looks like to me that this new Super Mario Brothers movie is gonna be everything that that seven-year-old little boy self it looks like that little kid's dreams are finally going to come true. No pressure. And at the same time, my girl's dreams are gonna come true. It's gonna happen for both of us at the same time. And that just puts a big smile on my face. Well, that's about it, guys. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I wanna know, before we go, please leave a comment below. Tell me, did you see the original Super Mario Brothers movie in the theater like I did when I was a kid? Or maybe on home video, on TV, something like that. And was it as heartbreaking and soul-crushing for you as it was for me? Leave a comment below. Let me know your experience with the Super Mario Brothers movie. And let me know if you're gonna go see the new one. Maybe you are like me and you're gonna be able to take your kid to see a good Super Mario Brothers movie for once. Please let me know about it. And if this is your first time to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I love talking about my game crazy family and all the amazing memories we shared together. So many of which were caught on tape. All right, guys. Have a wonderful week. I'll catch you next time.